Hey guys, your boy from it's you know, Nigga from Nigga Asian TV, and um, we're here with um, some Mario Kart 8 walkthrough. And basically, it's a new feature that's been added. It's, well, it's a new class, technically. It's 200 CC, and if you guys didn't already know, previously you could only go up to 150 CC, so it's been added. So it means it's just a little bit faster. So I said I decided to go ahead and start record some of it. Uh, as you guys can see, we're on versus mode, no teams, all items, 200 CC, hard CPU all vehicles in order four races so let's jump straight into this i'm going to do the mushroom cup just because it's a little bit easier and um yeah let's jump straight into this so prior to this rate um to this championship and actually recording this i've only actually played uh one race and um that was when i used then that was when i used um the uh comet and i actually used it on this actual um set, um this course i used it on mario's uh, stadium and I, used, and I used the comet i managed to come first but um it was a painful experience because I just kept hating things and I just feel like you carry way too much speed. So I decided, you know what, uh, the best thing to, for me to do is actually to go ahead and swap out um, the cart. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and swap out the bike and get myself a cart. So I've gone ahead and got to the circuit racer? Special race. Special racer. Circuit special. Circuit special. My, my brother told me, just told me now, it's a circuit special. And, um,. Yeah, uh, I decided to go ahead and get this and use my boy Lu uh, Waluigi. I love this guy. He's just, he's just, he's just so sick. I decided to go ahead and use him. And um, yeah, as it's 200 CC. I don't know what, I'm, uh, what I think about the moment. Well, from the one race that I played with it, it's actually it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. But then again, saying saying that, look at the course that we were actually racing. It's only um. Uh, Mario, uh, Mario Stadium. Maybe once I get to like uh, Grumble Volcano, Sherbet Land, um, Grum uh, Bowser's Castle, Rainbow Road, then we'll actually see the full extent of how fast and how difficult it will be to use um, these vehicles and race on those courses. But until then, um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my time in first place, hopefully. Um, uh, Cheat. The first race that I actually did play on, I managed to get a, I managed to get a blue shot. Hopefully, there's not a repeat of that. I don't know. If I, I, I assume that the blue shells will be faster because you're faster, so I, it will just make sense if the blue shells travel that much faster so they can still hit you. Um, but uh, obviously, if they were traveling at the 150cc speed, then they, they would actually reach you because you'd be much faster than they were. So obviously, they've increased that. Um, I feel like the items, uh, some of the items which were um, kind of underpowered or didn't feel as powerful as they were in previous Mario Kart, such as the star and the mushroom, um, they are definitely they are definitely back. Uh, yeah, I might, the only reason I know it is because in the first lap I might I was in like ninth place because I, I was just hitting everything I just couldn't stay properly. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. And uh, so yeah, I got a star and it just it just make it feels it actually feels probably more OP than it was on Mario Kart 7 which is actually saying something to that the star on Mario Kart 7 was, was it was probably one of the most OP items along, along with the, uh, the golden mushroom I actually haven't had a chance to use that uh, I've only used the mushroom and the, I've only got three mushrooms shells, bananas and a star and I've got hit by lightning several times and I've got blue shot once, but uh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I feel like lightning. You get hit. I feel like there's a lot more lightning. I've been, I mean, I've, this is my second race. I've already been hit by lightning. I think. No, this yeah, this is my second race. I think I've been the well, third race altogether. I think I've been hit by lightning four or five times in those in those three races, which is obviously quite a bit. The, the one thing, although um, carts are, I feel like carts are better to use than um, than bikes. Uh, although I based it off one race, the one thing I will say is that because you get a lot of um, because the way you have to drift, it means you dr drift a lot deeper and a lot and a, and a lot wider, so mean and a lot longer. So it means you get the mini boost a lot more frequently. So that coupled with the fact that you're already on 200 cc makes drifting a lot more harder because that means that although you're drifting to compensate for the speed. You actually pick up more speed because you get those mini boosts in between those drifts, which means that you go faster. So, you know, I'm just gonna have to try and find the balance in that. I feel like I don't know. 
my starts, I don't know if, it, if it's me getting flocking the starts or if it's just, um, just that the CPU is really good at them. I don't know. I'm um, we'll gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go ahead and do practice my starts again because I don't know. I'll just get left. This is the third race. In the championships. Hopefully, I can get a nice little flawless championship for you guys. That'd be nice. Uh, but I think the learning curve from 150cc to 200cc at the moment, I say, I say, I say, it's with it. take this with a pinch of salt. But I think that at the moment, it's not that hard. Um, mainly because of the courses I've been playing with, and also the fact that I've had a lot of experience with Mario Kart 8 prior to this. Um, to this uh, actual new class, so that means that I, I already <coughs> Let's ignore that. Uh, it means that I already had experience playing uh, Mario Kart 8, so I kind of know the, the course layouts. <laughs> oh my god! So I already kind of knew the, the course layouts and how um, the courses work and stuff like that. So I think that had I been completely new to Mario Kart, like I went out and picked up Mario Kart today as like as the update came out, I think I'd be completely fine because it just seems so hard. And because normal 150 cc when I first um, started playing Mario Kart, obviously um, I played at my friend's house and he'd, um, he already had it and uh, he'd already unlocked everything and stuff. So we just jumped straight ahead, and jumped where to we jumped in and played where he left off, which was 150 cc, and that was really difficult for us. But um, yeah, after like uh, a championship, I was we just became really used to it. So I think that um, if if I hadn't played that or I hadn't had Mario Kart before this, I think uh, it, I doubt I'd be able to even place. I think I'd be like 11th, definitely bomb half of the of the of the um, of the, of the leaderboard. It's just, but the, the I think the step up from 150 cc to 200 cc isn't as um, drastic as I thought it'd be. But then again, saying that I've only played on the Mushroom Cup, which is probably the easiest cup of um, of all of them on Mario Kart. So. Maybe once I start getting to those harder maps, like I said, then all the maps we actually have to drift a lot more. Then maybe I'll see how just how challenging um, 200 CC is. But until then, I'm just going to actually. I'm just. I, it's, it's just giving a. It's giving Mario Kart a breath of a new life. Um, cause, uh, I was playing Mario Kart. Just it got kind of tedious after a while, you know. Um, it wasn't much. There wasn't much you could really do. Just race get here and you know just just came in, I just became a little bit bored of it after a while but um this it just seems to give it a new purpose and a new reason for me to play again and uh at the moment I think I I've, I've enjoyed the uh, the little this uh this new addition to uh the Mario Kart. I like to say that maybe it could have been introduced a little bit earlier, maybe with the first maybe it should maybe um least with the game or introduced with the first map pack I'm not gonna complain um it's a free map it's a free content update so if you guys actually do have Mario Kart 8 you can go ahead and download this for free and go ahead and start zipping around the course like you've never done before um, if you are but the one piece of advice I'd have to say is if you are um, planning on playing um, 200 CC definitely definitely play with a um, play with a car rather than a bike even if you're really um, proficient with a bike and you're really used to it, I'd say, oh shit, shit, oh my god, no, no. I'd say definitely uh, go ahead and swap your, your bike for a car and uh, you'll probably see a lot, of, um, you'll probably see a change in results. Um, I think you're, you're, you're more likely to do better with carts mainly because I feel like these, the way that 200cc has been geared, it, it favours the carts a lot more than the bikes because of the way the carts uh, the carts drift in this game compared to the bikes you get a lot more outward drift which means you can maintain speed but also maintain um, your grip I mean so means you can go through the corners faster but we won't risk falling off so anyways guys there you go as you guys can see I won the championship flawless victory I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did be sure to drop a comment um, like the video if you did enjoy it and um, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already anyways guys it's been Nick from Negration TV and uh, peace